Mm. Lo dejaste lo así, Julio. Up, I, I kind of grew up watching these guys play, and I was a younger guy, just a younger fan, watching Aaron Sanchez pitch for the Blue Jays, and how these Correa play with the Astros, and uh, Joey Gallo play with the Rangers. So I grew up watching them play, and then now just to be around them and just to be kind of their friends and trying to kind of can meet them and, and know more about them, and it's just been a cool experience just to be outside and just hang out with the guys and just to, to see that they're a normal person at the end of the day, and, and they're cool. It just it's just great experience so far. Uh, he's very efficient. Um, very simple with his movements, very repeatable with his movements, and another uh, relentless worker. He, he gets after it at all times. He, he, he gets in the cage. He, at the beginning of the spring training, he almost, he wanted so many swings, he would give us a, some, some sometimes about, you know, hey, I, I need some more swings, I'm getting ready for the WBC. So, um, he's made an incredible impact so far. His name is, is, is known, and he is, he is doing that with some authority as well. So. He's done a great job. Uh, I think we will see him definitely at some point, and I, I can't wait. I mean, I didn't know much for sure. I saw well, growing, up, growing up, I saw the guy like Justin Morneau, a Canadian player too, to play for the Twins. So it kind of helped me uh, know the team a little bit and know where it was. It's a team from up north, so I for sure knew a little bit about it. So it's my first big league camp. Um, it's been very exciting so far. I mean, I've, I have a ton of fun here and just to be around the big league guys, so it's such good players like Correa, Farmer, and all these veteran presents in the locker room. I learned so much. I try to pick their brains, and uh, I've learned so much so far. Like, to be a to be a, a, a good baseball player, you got to work hard, and you got to have a routine. And that's the biggest thing I've learned so far. And all these guys have uh, such a good routine every day, and they do the same thing every day, and they stride towards something that's so much bigger than they, what they see the, the day before. So um, every day you try to get better, and that's what I've been trying to do every day. It was just a dream come true when I was younger, just to play and for Canada, to represent a whole country, to have a whole a fan base behind you, and, and then you're going to go out there and compete against USA, against Colombia, against Mexico. So it's going to be a cool experience to get my first one, and just to be out there on the same field and Trout, Turner, and all these big all-stars, Ronaldo, Goldschmidt. So it's going to be fun, and I'm for sure going to go out there and give my best and play hard and compete. And like I said, we're going to shock the world. I just wanted to represent Puerto Rico and it's a great opportunity. I just want to do, you know, to do my best to help the team, to help Puerto Rico to win, to win the tournament. Uh, the story that I was told, and I don't know if it's the full story, but the Cubs won the World Series in 2016 and apparently Javi Baez ended up spending that offseason in Chicago and as a way to kind of disguise himself, he dyed his hair. Uh, and then it, the WBC was the next spring training in 17. He still had it and everybody was like, all right, let's all do it. And then it just kind of took over. I'm nervous. It's a Lindor fall, Lindor fall. It's a Lindor fall. Watching all those guys, big guys and, and Ivan Rodriguez, those Beltran, Delgado. My mom's gonna kill me. And now be part of that team, you know, Puerto Rico have that 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 letters in my chest. It's a pride, man. It's it's uh make me play hard for my family, for my, my fans and, and you know, all my country and, and it's it's gonna be fun. It's been six years because of everything that that happened in the last couple of years. So it's been six years of you know like the energy, the anxiety building up. So I think it's just gonna be it's gonna be a great atmosphere, and that's why I had to take into account that for my preparation. Because usually by that time around spring training, you're building up, and now not only building up, you're gonna you we know that the adrenaline's gonna be there. So it's gonna be whatever amount of pitches we get to throw, it's gonna be a hundred percent. The adrenaline's gonna be there, and it's gonna be fun. Like I prepare for it, and I know that I'm gonna be ready to give it my all. As a baseball fan, you really enjoy watching players compete and take pride in something. We talk about taking pride in being a part of the Minnesota Twins all summer long. 
and that's great. Now you get to see maybe a different side of guys from whether they're from Colombia or Panama or have connections back to Team Israel. You know, there's there are people who have a history and a family history there. That's a really cool thing to watch grow and develop and ultimately give people a chance to, to you know, have pride in. And I think as an industry, my putting my industry hat on for a second, it's a great way to grow our game. You know, you're seeing fans from around the, the, the globe watch baseball at that time, right in the middle of March before our season kicks off to really build momentum into the regular season, hopefully become baseball. It was definitely an opportunity I didn't want to, you know, like pass on. I want to I wanna take advantage of it. I think it's going to be fun. We're in a group that's going to be a bloodbath, you know, with uh, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico. Israel has some like great talent. Nicaragua came from winning their qualifiers, so you know they're going to show up hungry. So it's going to be a great atmosphere, great environment, and I'm really looking forward to it. So very happy, of course, you know, getting the strikeout um, and, and watching when I was walking to the dugout, watching all the fans supporting us, and it always felt amazing playing representing Puerto Rico. Yeah, it's it's crazy to think about it. Uh, uh, in 2017, when I represented Puerto Rico for the first time, I, that was that was the highlight of my career. And I always said that uh, there was only one way to top that, and he was doing it again in, uh, on, on the next one. And uh, I'm here, so I'm I'm extremely grateful for the opportunity. But uh, I never saw a moment like this coming, so so I'm I'm gonna enjoy it and and. It's, it's definitely going to be fun. We're here just uh, not representing ourselves as individuals, but an entire community, the next generation of players. And then it's just, it's a wonderful feeling. I really can't describe it. I get goosebumps thinking about it because it's just very surreal. Um, as a fan, I love it. I love watching it. I love watching the competition. I love seeing the underdog teams go out and compete. Um, as a coach, it's tough because we have a lot of our staff that's going. We have some of our players that are going. So, um, But at the same time, it's I'm so happy for them to get it compete in that competition and, uh, and come back with those experiences and I think all of that will help going into our, our season moving forward. What's running today? For day before? Bike. The aerobic stuff? Day before game. Yep. 20, well, min 20, 20 minutes? minutes? 20 minutes between 120 to 150 heart rate. So we got the little finger jumps. What's the purpose of that? What does it do? Aerobic capacity. I know but like before? What's your, what's your biggest fear, Mike? Um, Mediocrity? What? Cut change-ups? You, oh, what, okay, so you don't want it to cut, cut. you want it, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. You want, you want the seam shift, but you throw it like this. Well, you just gotta teach people to supinate. Well, they all, most people do already. See, we're like both the supinators right here. Yeah. Ultra supinators. We are the supinators. Yeah. Well, there was a point where I got yelled at for not being able to pronate a change-up. 100%. Yeah, me too. And that's honestly your fault. I will agree, it is my fault. I'm mic'd up right now. So just, I'm gonna get you in trouble. Don't say anything. Don't say bad words. I talk to you a lot. Uh, we griefing and we Lopez. And I talk to you a lot with griefing because he learning Spanish. So and I try learning English. You know, I talk to him sometimes. Uh, I ask him something. Him, he asking something to me. You know. And with Lopez, because he got more experience than me, so he told to me about how he throw to the hitter, like in the situation, you know. And when I'm more, when I'm more younger, I see a lot of great hitter in the big league, like Miguel Cabrera, Mike Trout, that people. And when I face to him, I got a strike him out. I say, whoa. That's great, you know? So, I'm well, pitching to him. So, that's great. And I do the, my jump. So, <laughs> that's exciting, yeah. Who's going to throw harder this year, he or Emilio? <sighs> On so, record right a, now. That's a fantastic question, but See, so it's going it's to it's be me. It's going to be you? It's going to be me. <laughs> well, we're, if we're talking about like highest pitch velocity or yeah. highest average hey, velocity. Emilio. He just said he's definitely going to throw harder than you this year. On mic. Mic'd up. Mic'd up. Highest average velocity, Griffin Jacks. Forcing, forcing fastball. Of my 13 fastballs I'm gonna throw this year, they're gonna have a higher average velocity. It's fun, you know. My job, my job is a lot more fun when, when pitchers have swing and miss stuff and and, and nasty stuff uh, because it makes I, I can I can kind of call whatever and, and it's probably gonna be a good outcome for us. Uh, it's it's just 
having having guys like Duran, Lopez, Alcala, Griffin Jacks, you know, we can just I can just go, keep going down the list of really impressive guys that are gonna throw big innings for us this year. I feel great about the bullpen, yeah. Um, it's a lot of good stuff. Throw strikes, they get they get good stuff and they throw strikes. I mean, we don't need to overcomplicate it. If you do those two things, uh, you're gonna be successful at getting guys out on a regular basis. So um, they're feeling healthy. Um, and it's fun to watch them every day. It's a lot of fun. You know, especially last year we created the little lights and the music and it's, I don't know, you get chills every time you think about it. And it's one of those where the guys, they're winning. They, they just want to win. So they go out and they give you their best, their best, you know, and it's their best. It's hard. So for me, I'm glad they're on our side. You know, for, I, I don't chill in the outfield, but I, a little more chill, if that makes sense. But you're never comfortable, you know? It's, it's just one of those things where you you know they come in and you're like, oh, y'all gonna have a tough time. It's crazy seeing the caliber of guys that we have on down there and then the depth of guys. Uh, I feel like we've got four or five guys that can really, they could close games if they wanted to. They could, I mean, we've got so much talent down there in the back end and it's, it's gonna be fun being able to roll out a Back end guy in the sixth inning. It's exciting. So I decided to be a starter of the season, you know, because I know this team this year, we need a lot. You know, this team focus more like to the championship this year.